Chapter 1, Section 6, Maximum Intensity Projection, or MIP View. To demonstrate the functionality of the Maximum Intensity Projection, or MIP, we'll continue working with our 3D rendering. In the upper right hand corner, where the initials appear for virtual rendering as VR, left click with your mouse, and then left click on MIP. This will then change our view into a grayscale view, similar to that of our coronal, sagittal, and axial view. However, we also have the functionality to right click and manipulate the scan just as we did for our virtual rendering. We were also able to apply coloring to our virtual rendering, and in this case here, if we wish to remove the air and soft tissue we see here, revealing just the hard tissue, enamel, and so forth, we have a function called windowing which is also accessible through our fine tuning icon. Simply left click on fine tuning and then left click on windowing. This will then open a scale at the bottom of our window and there are two variables that we can control. The contrast as indicated by these two orange lines and brightness as indicated by the blue line in the center. As an example if I left click on the five sided box for my contrast and slide it to the left, I've now reduced my contrast or reduced the separation between light and dark. However, if I go in the other direction by left clicking and dragging it to the right, as they converge, I'm now increasing my contrast or increasing the separation between light and dark. In this case here, filtering out the air and soft tissue. I can also adjust the brightness. That's controlled by the blue line right here. As I left click, I can slide to the left, make it brighter, or left click, slide to the right, and reduce my brightness. Once I've created my desired effect, I can also save this in my opacity library. In this case here, we'll go down to our menu again, left click on save, and let's specify our name. such as high contrast. Left click on save and then to access it left click on load, select it and then apply it on a per patient basis or as a default for every scan you open on this computer.